three metres now from this Castleford uh, line. Still, Castnil leads uh, nil. Oh, beautiful ball! Can he get over? It's a forward pass. pass. A forward pass. Quickly called against Jamie Jones, Buchanan. Good movement. Yeah. Just over around the, the ball player. I think it was Robert Hicks here that made this call. It was uh, it, it was very much the, the touches on the far side, Robert Hicks, that made the goal. But you can see there that Sinfield took the ball right to the line. Brent Webb, sorry. And it was a short pass for Jamie Jones Buchanan. But that was a good call there from the, uh, the touch judge. A little passage of play there from the Rhinos, just keeping the ball alive. And let's see what the, the, the right hand for this one. For she's going for the line. Oh! He almost got it down. And he was rolled back. Terrific defence there from uh, Castleford. They saved a certain four-pointer. But it's Leeds on the attack. Burrow looks for support. Sinfield. And offside. Well, it looked a forward pass, but it's offside. Yeah, Martin Aspiel, I don't think, retreated back there. But we've got Nick Youngquest in the background as well. Was having treatment, but uh, Kevin Sinfield just going to try and get some points on the uh, on the scoreboard. Because it is knockout rugby league, Ray. The prize is massive. It doesn't matter whether you win by one point or a hundred well, one points. It's it's Wembley at the prize. I think you've played this game, John. I played the game, and you know, 22 minutes after nil apiece, it's worth going for a goal for confidence, isn't it's it? It's worth going for a goal, but uh, it was it was Aspin Wall there offside from the uh, overhead shot and. A good call by referee Phil Bentham and Nick Youngquist there, who's uh, you know coming towards the sideline, and he looks distinctly groggy. John, he's taking a bad knock. He certainly does. And uh, Kevin Sinfield, Andy, record point scorer, goal scorer for uh, for Leeds, looking for two points. And this match running very similar to yesterday. Remember, the first points were a goal. Here we are, and the first points today are a goal from the prolific scorer Kevin Sinfield. And I think that uh, two points to nil, John, gives you an indication how both sides have weighed up, that this is very, very tight, it's going to be very, very tight, and oh, even tighter. It is going to be tight, and it could well go down to the wire, but you've got to be prepared to win the game in minute 80, if that's what's to... Uh, What's necessary? Just as uh, Castleford Tiger demonstrated early in the cup against uh, Wakefield Trinity Wildcats. Oh, terrific tackle there by Stuart Jones, but Burrow now he's causing the problems. Bailey, can he get over? Oh, he's lost it. Play on, and Castleford are coming away. Well, did he lose that, or was that taken from him? No, he lost it. There's job. one, two, three in the tackle. He just, he just put it in his arm. I don't know about that, but uh, McGoldrick had to do that to prevent the try. But uh, he's got away with it. It's better to act rather than reason. When it's like that, you're defending your own line. Oh, I, I thought he just put it in his arm, John. First half. The winners to meet Wigan in three Forward weeks' pass. time at Wembley. Forward pass. Well, at least Rhinos are renowned for play, playing a flat type of game. They really do play upstream and, and they do take it to the very extreme, going out the line with flat balls. But you see there, deemed that Maguire's pass was just a little forward. It certainly released Ablett on the outside of Owen and uh, should it not have been called forward, it would have been a try. But that's what he's out there for, referee Phil Bentham. To so just left their knees, you know, they're not upright. Well, they're trying to play as quickly as possible, but it certainly worked against Hall that time. Too quick, in my opinion. Ball here now, Castleford going in, here's a chance! Oh, I think he's over! Good shot! Oh, he's in, she's short! Terrific tackling then, Castleford! Line, move, line, go, go back. Rangi Chase, little grubber kick, Ben Jones Bishop picks it up, well, oh, he's got away! He's only got McCormick going across. Can he edge him onto that touchline? He cuts inside. And he's outside again. And he beats another man. But he's down. Terrific recovery there by uh, Castleford. 
a magnificent, Leeds now a in full flow. Magnificent run though, wasn't it, from George Bishop? And well done by Goldie, but they still had to make the right up. Oh, is he in at the corner? No, he's in touch. The flag is up. Carl Albert has, Albert has not scored. Mr Hicks right on the spot. The flag went up immediately. But that was a carbon copy of that Wigan Saints try. It certainly it? was, but it hasn't he done well here? And look who it is who's going across there to put the pressure on Ablett, but uh, touch judge Carl Hicks has got it exactly right. Robert Hicks has got it exactly right. The foot on the sideline, but it was Danny Orr, and that shows how much it means putting the pressure on Ablett, forcing Ablett out of bounds. But, but you could see there with the touch judge, Mr Hicks, he was looking nowhere else except that white line. No. He was looking for no. that to be broken, and that did no. the trick for okay. Castleford. He did a great job, but, uh, you know, again, Jones Bishop, he's looking the one most likely no. to break no. this stalemate, but good piece of work there from, uh, from Mr Hicks. Castleford coming away there now. Here's a chance. Rangi Chase, has he got support inside him? Or has he delayed it too long? He's going himself. He's scored. Rangi Chase has scored. An amazing try from one end of the field to the other. Castleford are in the lead. I thought he'd made a mistake by not passing, but the confidence in this Kiwi is immense. It's 36 try for Castleford, and has he ever scored a more important one? I would doubt it. The fans are delirious. They lead for the first time in this match by four points to two. And what a great try this was. They went down the short side, a little bit of a dummy. Sinfield took it, he used the right-hand fen, and look at his composure here. Ball in two hands, he's virtually teasing Brent Webb. He's telling him, I'm going to pass, I'm not going to pass. Then he just puts the foot down, and over he goes in the, in the corner. A great individual try from Ranga Chase. He made it, he engineered the break, and he finished the break. Absolutely outstanding rugby league. It certainly was, he moved... Uh... The leads uh, full back in. Then when he went out, he just had the legs uh, on him. And here is Kurt, Kurt Dixon. Hardly any win down there. Very, very good underfoot. But a difficult kick from the touchline. Has proved a very successful kicker for Castleford this season. Oh, he lofts it high, it's in the area. No, it's not, it's just to the left of those poles. But Castleford then have to be content with four points to two. But what a lift from that man for the men in yellow. Yeah, wasn't it a magnificent break there? You saw the right-hand fender after he'd shown the dummy to Simfield. But I just love how he teases, he tantalises Brent Webb. And when he realises he's just bought himself enough pace, at space, it backs his pace to finish the try up. What a great try, and I think uh, he enjoyed it, Ray. <laughs> he certainly did. Back up, back up. a candidate for any man of the match at the moment. <laughs> Offside. And this, this Castleford pack, John, is providing big problems for Leeds. It is, and that, that penalty for offside is down to Jackson, Ray, because he was working incessantly when he was carrying the ball after collision to get them forward, and you can see there, there's no doubt about it, the word offside, and interestingly, uh, Castleford uh, going to take the two there. So uh, well, I was just going to ask you, John, what would you do? Is this worth a goal? I think it is at this stage in the game. Well, I think points are to premium, Ray, there's no doubt about that, and uh, the interchanges have been eaten up, I think there's eight on each side, so uh, it really is, it's a, it's a war of attrition out there, and any points you can get are very, very important. Kirk Dixon then, a lot of uh, pressure on uh, him, he has kicked some... Uh, Important goals this year, none more important. I, I don't remind uh, John Keir of that uh, goal in extra time over there at Bellevue, John. But uh, here is another pressure kick 25 metres out. He's kicked it, he's kicked it. The flags go high. Another two points for Castleford. Six points to two.
And do those Castleford fans begin, as they've said all week, to dream for Wembley? Well, I think they've been dreaming for Wembley for the past two weeks, Ray, but uh, the reality dawns today. Can they actually achieve that dream? And uh, with the scoreboard as it is, they can, but 27 and a half minutes, Ray, there's a long, long time to go yet. Rugby here wait, from, uh, from Castleford. Driving in at first stir uh, receiver. Ben Ooh. Davis. Very good game, hasn't it, Ben he Davis? Has. It really has, and that, that really determined run there. It, it half rolled the Leeds line, it forced Haraki to have a second effort. It, it shows you something of the depth of the uh, the talents at Wigan at the moment when they can offload and uh, loan this boy out. Well, it, <laughs> he could well end up playing in the final for Castleford against his parent club. Well, he could, I just don't know what the arrangements are though, John. You know, some months they stop them, don't yeah, they? Yeah, they do, but uh, he's going for two points now, Danny R. Use his experience and... Uh, yeah, well done, just look at that writing on... Uh, Danny Orr's shirt, they're a special one celebrating his 400th career appearance. A record uh, point scorer here for Castleford. He'll, he'll remember it as well if, uh, if they manage to achieve the prize and get to yeah. uh, Wembley. Five. Kirk Dixon then. Kicking again for possible glory. One out of two so far. 35 metres out. 15 in from the far touchline. Is that long? Oh, it's coming! It's there! It's an absolute beauty! The Gasserford fans are absolutely ecstatic! Just look at that little, little lad bouncing up and down there. This is what rugby league means to a town like uh, Castleford. Eight points to two, less than nine minutes remaining. All the pressure now on Leeds. One of the great sides of Challenge Cup rugby. Get on the line, two. Difficult time here for Castleford. Maguire, Sinfield, Clarkson. Good ball! Watkins, has he picked it out? Can he pick it up? He's over! He's over! the corner no hesitation there Joel Bishop he picked the ball up after Watkins 18th try tremendous effort and leads are back yeah well the ball's rolled left to right there wasn't the slickest of movement and the ball hit the ground from Haraki but a lovely bit of composure from Watkins there kept his hands away from the ball you'll see it hits the ground from Haraki's offload and he just keeps his hands away shows composure picking it up and finishes really well three meters in from the sideline yep. and my word good try from Callum Watkins but this is pressure the skill of Haraki fooled me John I thought it was Callum Watkins such was the quality of that uh, flick here is the kick. He's kicked it. Oh, Leeds are back in business. Kevin Sinfield, the record goal kicker for Leeds, shows his true metal when the pressure is on from the touchline. He grabs another one. And we're all square here at the Keyboard Stadium. A piece Keyboard of sheer Keyboard. brilliance. Yeah, his ball movement left to right. Haraki does a real good job there. It's a collision, such young question. Offloads the ball. Great composure from Watkins. Good pick up under pressure and a great finish. And Sinfield's kick. That is handling pressure at the highest level. What a finish we've got in store now, Ray. Less than six minutes. Move. It's got to be Rangi Chase. He's standing back. This must be the one. Here he is. Oh, he's missed it. It's well. gone to the left-hand side of the post. We will be in to extra time. There's no doubt about that now. Well, the second's ticking away. And we can't restart the game. Time for a little rest for all the players. But this tie yet to be decided. The first to score the golden point, be it drop goal, penalty goal or try, will settle this tie. This set, three tackles gone. Baderas looks for Sinfield. 
determined running from Kevin Sinfield. Can he get the ball away? Oh, he couldn't. No. The Curtis was back inside him. Maguire was on his outside. But that was a good break by Sinfield. Maguire. Nice thing to do, man. Danny Maguire. Oh, he's lost the ball. Now then. Well, will he give a penalty? It's a high tackle. Will he give a penalty for a high tackle? This is a massive decision on the referee here. It is a high tackle. Will Kevin Sinfield go for goal? Well, it was a great break, first from Sinfield, then Maguire backing up on the next play. And no doubt about it, the right foot step, wrong foot of McGoldrick. McGoldrick yeah. went high, it was a penalty. And uh, we've just said about Sinfield having pressure to tie the scores. There's pressure now to win this game. Yep. And Terry Matteson, six years, good years at Castleford, could be all over with this Castle kick. Forest. A despairing oh, clutch oh, at Maguire oh. as he went inside from McGoldrick. Judged by uh, the referee, Phil Bentham, to be a penalty. And Kevin Sinfield set for the kick. The kick that could take Leeds to Wembley. All the pressure on this man, but he is a man. No who absorbs the pressure. He's kicked it! Kevin Sinfield has kicked the winning goal! Castleford can hardly believe it! One or two of their players collapse to the ground, some of their fans are in tears. It's not been the greatest of games in terms of spectacular rugby, but what a battle, what a war of attrition. And Ronnie the Rhino, he's urging those Leeds fans. Sinfield, the hero of the hour, he will take Leeds to Wembley. Yeah, and Kevin Sinfield has been the Carnegie Challenge Cup semi-final man of the match, simply because he's coped with the pressure with two immense goal kicks. It's a very even contest with lots of good performances individually. He's contributed greatly as Kevin Sinfield. But those two kicks, firstly to tie the score, secondly to win the game, earned Kevin Sinfield quite rightly the Carnegie Challenge Cup man of the match. And it was Castleford, 72 minutes into this game, on the way to Wembley, leading by eight points to two. Watkins scored. Sinfield added the goal from the touchline. And Sinfield, the prolific point scorer, more points than anybody else in Super League, record goal scorer for Leeds, the hero here at the Keep Ball Stadium, wonderful effort, and Leeds on the way to face Wigan at Wembley in three weeks' time.